the good days Here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt Good morning friends and welcome back to part 2 of my 30 day declutter challenge for 30 days I picked a new spot in my house that needed to be more organized, but most importantly, decluttered. I decluttered well over 1,000 items. My house is well on its way to becoming more manageable now. I wouldn't quite call myself a minimalist just yet, but I'm getting there. It's a journey, that's for sure. Now, I used so many different decluttering methods throughout the last 30 days, which I will explain some of those soon. But first, I just want to explain what's going on. So it is day 11 here and I have moved into the lounge room. We've moved out of my bedroom finally, although there is still a lot that needs to be decluttered in my bedroom. I definitely made a huge dent. So I am happy with how it's looking at the moment, but I will be heading back in there in the coming months, that's for sure. But this is my coffee table slash uh, some of the kids toy storage and it's gotten out of hand so I really wanted to clean up this area today and declutter a bunch of toys out of these boxes here today there's lots of McDonald's toys in here and just random bits and pieces and baby puzzles that the kids have grown out of now so I knew that there would be a lot here that needed to be decluttered so I've just started off by cleaning the floor in front of this and now I'm just cleaning the surface on top so I have a clean space and area to work with and then I'm going to be grabbing those boxes out and decluttering those. We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one Cheers to all the memories The venom and the remedies Yeah, promise I won't forget So here I started off a little slow. I had gotten into a really good rhythm with decluttering my bedroom, but now that I have moved into a new area and particularly that this stuff wasn't mine, it's my kids stuff, it was a little difficult at first to know what to declutter and how much to declutter. I really wanted to avoid upsetting my kids, but at the same time, I knew that a lot of this stuff had to go. So I just thought I'll start by sorting it into a keep pile and a throwaway pile. And if the keep pile, you know, is too big, I'll go back through it and declutter again. Because it was a bit of a struggle to start off with, I thought I'll just treat this as like a decluttering process rather than doing a major declutter in this area. I will just uh, declutter as much as I can to start with and then I would go over it again another day if I couldn't do it all in one day but it turned out that I was able to actually get rid of quite a lot on this day and to be honest my kids did not even notice all of the stuff that I threw out in fact they play with the stuff that's left in this box more now that there's less in there because they're less overwhelmed with the amount of toys I guess that it was filled with so if you are decluttering kids toys and you are thinking maybe you're decluttering too much then maybe this is your sign that sometimes less is more. I mean these boxes are pretty deep but I could not believe how much junk and toys was jammed into all of this and I just want to say if you're here for the free foot content then I am sorry how disappointed you probably are right now with these feet. I was playing outside with my kids all morning and I just had a chance in the afternoon to come inside and do my daily declutter challenge. So I did that and I just didn't even think about my feet and looking at the footage now. I'm sure that I'm going to get somebody commenting on how disgusting they are and fair call. They, they are, but I just, you know, I, you just got to get it done. And I wasn't going to use any excuses as to why I couldn't complete my daily declutter challenge on any of the days. Even if I was really busy, I would stay up late 
and do my challenge or I would get up earlier and do it. I just really wanted to make sure that I completed this 30 day declutter challenge because I knew that it would help me out a ton, especially with Christmas coming up. I really just didn't want to be overwhelmed with more stuff before I had the chance to get rid of some of the older stuff that's been accumulating over the years. So dirty feet and all, I am getting it done. I'm just showing you here. There is a completely empty box and the other box is only a little bit full, but here is everything that I am going to be throwing out. A lot of this is just junk. The puzzles aren't complete puzzles. We've lost pieces over the years because of my dog. He was a puppy when the kids were little. We sort of got the dog and had our first baby at the same time. So a lot of the baby toys got chewed on as puppies do. So I just threw out pretty much all of this stuff. There was nothing here that I could really donate, but I am so happy to have all of this extra space now in this cube storage. It has made such a huge difference. So we have hit day 12 now and we have taken a step to the right and we have moved next door into our dining room. This cubby has become a junk station junk cubby I don't know it is just where all the random toys get thrown I have a lot of like blankets and sheets up here that I bring in from the clothesline that I just don't get around to folding and then we also keep any poppable balls up here too because if the dog gets to those they're gone in like five seconds he pops any ball inside so we try to keep the balls out of his reach so that everyone is happy but for now I just started off by taking all of those bed sheets off the top and I put those where they belong and then I put those balls that are up here in the outdoor storage box that we have now that thing has come in handy so much since we brought it a lot of the toys that were inside and in the garage now are in that storage box and it's just really easy for the kids to grab what they need when they need it rather than waiting for us to get it out of the garage but now that the roof is all cleared off, I'm just quickly giving it a good vacuum. It is caked in dust. The one thing that I find with decluttering is when you have a lot of stuff, you also have a lot of dust, which you probably see a fair bit sort of flying in front of the camera while I am filming these videos. And I know some of you have commented on that and get upset by it. And trust me, I'm upset by it too. I don't like having this much dust in my house, which is why I am doing something about it finally. And decluttering and cleaning up my home. So for those of you who do judge me for the dust that flies over the screen, I've had a few comments in the past. I think it's great that you have your house under control at all times. It clearly shows that you haven't lived with anxiety or depression or had to deal with cleaning with anxiety and depression. And honestly, I'm happy for you because that sounds like a dream. I would love to be able to live without anxiety and depression. It is debilitating at times and unfortunately uh, my home does suffer because of that. So while I am super happy for you that you don't have to experience this, a lot of people on my channel do experience this. A lot of people watching can understand and relate to my mess and how and why it has gotten to the point that it has gotten to now. And I know this because for every one negative comment I get, I get 10 positive comments and uplifting comments. And I am just so, so grateful for that side of YouTube that watches my channel. And it's those people that comment those positive things that keep me making new videos. You guys motivate me every day to keep going. You make me feel like I'm not alone on this journey. And I just appreciate you guys that stop and take the time to leave a kind comment so so much because honestly it is not hard to be kind and kindness is the kind of thing that gets people out of these situations it makes people want to clean uh, it's when the negative comments come in that can really bring somebody down that is already feeling down so for those of you who are here as a friend and for the motivation which is majority of you by the way I see your comments I read them I love them they mean the absolute world to me I love the community that has grown in my comment section over the last couple of years I am honestly I, I just could not be more grateful maybe it's something in the water yeah. or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter yeah. it's too late not to so I've got two piles here. The first one that I'm just putting into this bag here is everything I'm decluttering. Basically, just the whole ball pit situation I had going on in there. The kids have outgrown the ball pit. And I think that is what was creating the extra 
mess and clutter in there because it wasn't being used it was just being used as a dump station so decluttering that i think is going to make a big difference and then this other pile over here is just all of the golf stuff they got this for i think my son got this for his birthday and they haven't really had too much of a chance to play it yet but now the warmer weather is coming up i'm taking this out in a bag to the outdoor storage box that i was talking about earlier so the cubby is finally cleaned and decluttered it is empty at the moment i'm not sure if i'm going to put their little play shop in there or not but for now i'm keeping it empty this is everything that was in there that i'm keeping not all of it's going to stay out here but for now it is because I have this whole mess going on behind the camera here. This isn't what came out of the cubby, believe it or not, or the cube storage from yesterday. It is literally just another toy station that is just building up and needs a good declutter. So for now, I'm going to click my fingers, move it all over there, and that is officially tomorrow's problem now. I am trying not to overwhelm myself by doing too much at once so although the other side of this dining room is still a complete disaster right now we are slowly making progress around the house so with this cubby though i haven't actually shared a whole lot of cleaning in this decluttering series because i did want to keep it just to a declutter but i couldn't help myself with this cubby there was so many texture marks on it and stickers and I just thought that this would be some satisfying cleaning motivation for you all if that is something that you are also into. I don't know if you came to my channel just for the decluttering side of things because that's what this video is mostly about or if you've been here for a while then I know that you're also here for the cleaning content too. So I thought I would just add this in but don't worry majority of this video is just decluttering because if I left all of the cleaning footage in this 30 day decluttering challenge series these videos would have went for hours. I honestly had to do so much cleaning in between the decluttering. It was crazy, but I tried my best to cut a lot of that footage out and just really focus on the decluttering in this series and just hopefully give you guys some motivation to declutter your own homes before Christmas. So here is just a really quick before and after of the cubby area this has made such a huge difference since then we have put the shop in there and the kids have had so much fun playing in there this is everything that i ended up decluttering from this area we got rid of a full bag of just a few random toys and most of the balls the ball pit and another couple random items it may not look like a lot but it has made such a huge difference Today is day 13. Fun fact about me, 13 is actually my lucky number, but I was not feeling lucky this day. This is the kids' main toy storage slash play area. I mean, really the whole house is their toy storage slash play area. They have completely taken over our house, but this area is always first to get out of hand. So today I am fixing that. I am doing a major declutter today so much of this has to go I've had enough of the clutter and honestly so have the kids they barely play over here lately because it's just so overwhelming I just don't think that they even know where to start so I really wanted to get in there and fix that for them today's declutter was a big one though and it was so exhausting I just had piles going everywhere I had a pile of coloring books a pile of board games I think I had a pile of like pencils and stickers you name it there was piles everywhere it was just chaos but the end result and the amount I decluttered on this day made every single second worth it I know for so many people when the house does get to this state or sometimes for many people even worse than this it can be so hard to know where to start cleaning or what to declutter. I know I mentioned a couple of the decluttering methods that are my personal favorites in my previous video. If you missed that though, I like to use the KonMari method and the Swedish death cleaning method. And although they are great methods to use to declutter, I understand that maybe they're not for everyone. And in my opinion, the KonMari method really can get so overwhelming. So I wanted to share some more decluttering tips in today's video that I have learned along the way that might just be a little less overwhelming for you. And the first and most important tip I would say is to start small. 
I'm a very all or nothing kind of person. So I just go head first into things and tend to do too much at once and then get burnt out really quickly. So I told myself before this challenge to slow down and give myself plenty of breaks, which I didn't stand by this advice for the whole 30 day declutter challenge, but I tried my best. 30 days really is such a long time and it's very, very easy to burn out. In fact, I did a couple of times, but I did get there in the end. But yeah, to avoid that, I really do recommend to start small, find a box or a drawer to start with, or even if that still sounds too overwhelming, set yourself a really simple decluttering challenge like decluttering one item a day. That's still 365 items a year out of your house, which is huge and will still make such a huge difference. But waking up every day and just decluttering one item really is so simple and such a simple way to still make progress. Honestly, I could sit here all day and share a bunch of decluttering tips with you all. I love talking about cleaning and decluttering and organizing, but to be honest, some of my best and favorite decluttering tips I learn from my comment section from you guys when you stop and leave comments and share with me your decluttering tips and the decluttering methods that you use and your cleaning tips and all that stuff. I learn so much from you guys. I probably reckon that I learn more from you than you <laughs> learn from me. But I just love that about this community on YouTube. I love how kind you all are, majority of you anyway. And I just love learning from you all. There's always something to uh, learn or to be taught. And honestly, I am always learning so, so much from reading through your guys' comments. So please keep them coming. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Because we both know. So we are slowly but surely getting somewhere, but I actually really wish that I did this challenge over 60 or 90 days and broke it up more into smaller parts. Like with this cube storage I'm doing today, this was such a huge overwhelming task. It really didn't all need to be done in the one day. So please remember that decluttering is a journey, not a race. Take your time, people, and try to enjoy the process. Take lots and lots of before and after pictures to remind yourself how far you have come and just be sure to reward yourself as well. I went and got myself so many takeout coffees this month. It wasn't even funny, which I usually don't do, but it really gave me that feel good boost to get it all done. So make sure that you are taking care of you too during this process, during your decluttering journey. It is so, so important because if you get burnt out, who knows how long you're going to just, you know, quit and stop. And sometimes it can take so much longer to find that motivation again if you've already tried and failed. It just does something to your brain that stops you from getting back up and trying again. So please, if there's one thing you take out of today's video, take it slow. Don't burn out. Take care of yourself. Just, yeah, take it easy. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I 
can stand right here and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me I won't lie, I'm into you Got like a million ideas what we could do Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away I won't waste this There's something about the way you Fix your eyes on me I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy uh, uh. What you wanna do now? your voice I think that every word you say to me is like poetry I just want you for my own it's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this uh, uh, uh. what you wanna do now should we head back to my place uh, uh, uh. when you give me that smile I think my heart's turned up the pace I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you I'm just finishing this last row of shelves. They need a quick wipe down before I organize the toys back onto the shelves. But honestly, there's still these top storage boxes, these dark gray ones that need to be sorted through. And the top of the cube storage needs a really good wipe down. And it's just got so much clutter up there too. But honestly, the amount of stuff I've already decluttered, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, there is a massive pile behind the camera. It is just too much to fit into the bins. It is luckily bin night this night, so I was able to get rid of it all and start fresh the next day. But for <laughs> this moment, as you can see here, there is just so much that already needs to go in the recycling and the bin. So this is where I sort of called it a day this day and um, I actually ended up keeping that little wooden tray thing for some crafts but other than that all of this had to go in the bin, recycle. There was a small amount of things here that I was able to donate but unfortunately a lot of these toys just are really old or broken so they just had to go but I am so happy with how much I was able to to declutter from this area. I feel like I got myself into a really good rhythm from the last couple of days and it's getting a lot easier now to declutter the kids' toys. And I just feel like the cube storage is so much more manageable now. I have also noticed such a huge increase in the amount of time they're actually spending playing during the day now. They are just really getting in there, picking out puzzles and toys that they haven't played with in such a long time. And honestly, it really makes doing this declutter challenge so worth it. So I'm going to quickly show you a before and after shot now. The difference is huge and I just feel like I can breathe again in this room. So somehow we have made it to day 14. Today is one of those days that I mentioned earlier. I really had 
burnt out. I was done. I really didn't want to do the challenge today, but I thought it's better to do something small than to not do it at all. So I decided to set myself a really small challenge today and I just wanted to get the top of this cube storage cleaned and decluttered, especially because the warmer weather is coming up. Oh, it's supposed to be warmer. Where we are, it's kind of still trying to make up its mind between raining one day and boiling hot the next, but we are supposed to be moving into summer. So I wanted to get this area cleaned off because this air conditioner is probably going to be in use more often at the moment. So although day 14 wasn't a massive declutter, I still feel like I accomplished something and I was able to continue on with my decluttering challenge without completely burning out. Gonna stay in this moment, gonna lay here on the grass. So it is day 15 and we have moved into my son's room now. I am so excited to be finished with the kids toys for a moment but I'm also just really excited about today. This wardrobe is a complete disaster as you can see and I have been wanting to get in here and tackle this mess for such a long time now. So I have decided to break this down into four sections to prevent myself from getting overwhelmed because there truly is just so, so much in this wardrobe. But today I am working on decluttering the hanging clothes first. Both my son and daughter currently share this wardrobe, which can help explain why it's so jam-packed full. But at the same time, it's also been about 12 months since I've gone through and decluttered either of their clothes. And since they are a year older now and they have grown out of a lot of stuff, it really is the perfect time to do a major clothes declutter and just bag it all up and take it to the salvo. So as overwhelming as it all was looking, I just really had to get in there and get it done. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. So now that the hanging clothes have been decluttered, I'm just sorting through my son's and daughter's clothes and putting them on opposite sides of the wardrobe. I originally had it like this. It feels like such a long time ago now, but over time, they all just got mixed up together and just created complete chaos. But now that they are sorted, here is everything 
that I have decluttered today. The only thing that I'm going to be keeping is this little pink dress. I'm just not ready to part with this one yet, but that's okay. I just keep reminding myself that decluttering is a process. It doesn't need to be all done overnight. So for now, I'm keeping this one, but I'm going to go ahead and bag up the rest of these clothes. There is still so much that needs to be decluttered in this wardrobe though. So instead of taking this bag straight to the Selvos tonight, I'm just going to wait until the end of the week once I've decluttered the entire wardrobe and then take all of the bags down to the Selvos at once just to save me a whole bunch of unnecessary trips. We are on day 16. We are over halfway through this 30-day declutter challenge and today I am back in my kids' wardrobe. I have decided to tackle these drawers for today. They have everything from socks and underwear to pajamas, their pants, their t-shirts. They just have so many clothes in here. The drawers are barely shutting anymore. So I'm really excited about today's decluttering project. I've been wanting to tackle these drawers for a while now. I'm going to start up the top here with this open shelf. This is basically just my daughter's next size up of clothes that need to be now hung up and added to the drawers. So although there is going to be a lot taken out of these drawers today, the pajama drawer will probably stay pretty much the same because I basically have their next couple sizes up already folded and in that drawer ready for them to grow into. So there's not really a whole lot I can declutter in that drawer, but it needs a good tidy up and the rest of these drawers really need to be decluttered badly. So I'm going to get in there and get this done and hopefully it will take this wardrobe one step closer to being much more manageable and clutter free. at me I don't know what happened guess we weren't meant to be I know we had problems I thought we could fix them but we got tired there's nothing left to do but to say goodbye and try to move on I'll get over you only wish that I knew how to go on fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -mm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on
So I went through all of the drawers and this pile on the floor here is everything that I managed to declutter on day 16 from those black drawers. I'm pretty happy with how much I got out of them. The main goal was to make sure that all of these drawers were shut and could shut successfully and we succeeded there. I'm really happy that this doesn't look like a hot mess anymore. The top drawer is looking really organized. This next drawer though is still pretty full, but as I said, there's a lot of sizes in there. I could probably put some away, but uh, it's just, it works for now. Both kids now have their own drawer for their pants. So that's gonna make it a lot easier to find things. They're a lot more organized now. And yeah, that bottom drawer is just bathers. So that really didn't need to be looked at. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bag all of these up and add it to our pile that is going to be going to the donations at the end of the week. It's day 17 and for today's declutter challenge, we are tackling the dreaded baby clothes. I have had these clothes here in this corner of this wardrobe for around five years now. A lot of it is my son's baby clothes, so first baby things, which are extremely hard to let go of. And every single time I have tried to declutter these in the past, I have struggled big time. I feel like sometimes these clothes are all I have left of my baby who is now a big kid in prep at primary school, which hurts my heart. And for such a long time, I have felt that if I give up these clothes, then I'm really closing that chapter of my life forever. And it's just really emotional for me. So I have put this off for a long time, but I feel like that time was needed. Today was really different when I pulled these clothes out. It was different to all the other times that I had tried to declutter them in the past. Usually I tried to declutter them because I thought that it was something that I just had to do, but this time I was just ready to let go. My heart was ready, which just made the process slightly easier today, I think. Um, I'm not sure if it was easy to see when I just showed you the side of the wardrobe, but there is a full tub in there and heaps of bags that were just stacked on top of that tub, just jam packed full of baby clothes. So I just grabbed down the first few bags off the mountain and that's what I'm tackling here today. I ended up decluttering about 80% of what I went through today. Just on the left of the screen there, I had started a pile of things to donate and that just kept getting bigger and bigger, which is rare when I'm donating baby items. And then the few items that I was wanting to keep, I just was putting them up on the drawers next to me. I didn't keep much, but keeping those few items just made it so much easier for me to declutter the rest. Maybe I was blind on you forever while I tried to find someone that could be my great love right in front of me I didn't realize you were my dream so you took me by surprise oh yeah this bit is just a little bit of reality hitting i was so proud of myself for how much i had decluttered that i did a little throw of the clothes into the air just to say like wow i've done it and then as soon as i threw them into the air i just started bursting out crying so then i just laid on the clothes and sort of it was just like i felt like i was hugging my baby and just saying goodbye to him it actually ended up getting really emotional and really hard but i did it i got rid of them and i just want to say mamas out there if you are struggling to get rid of your baby clothes just um, wait, just wait until your heart is ready because although I still got emotional today, it was definitely a lot easier than it was in the past.
The donation pile is getting bigger, but I am not done yet. I'm back into the wardrobe on day 18, but today is the last day that I'm going to be spending in this wardrobe before I reveal the before and after pictures. The difference is so massive, but Today I decided to tackle their teddy bears. The kids have so many teddies that they love, but they also have so many that they just never really cared for having. So I really want to get rid of them now before they get to an age where they might not let me get rid of their things. I remember for myself, I had probably about this much teddies growing up and I didn't get rid of them until I'd probably moved out to my third house as an adult. Like I was just so attached to them. So I think that I'm sort of doing them a little bit of a favor right now by getting rid of the ones that just really do mean nothing because the ones that I had as a kid, I just thought they were all sentimental because they were from when I was a kid and I just didn't know which ones were really truly sentimental, if that makes sense. So anyway, I'm going through them today, but after the teddies, I am done in here. And I'm sure a lot of you watching are probably thinking, oh, it's not finished. You missed some shelves. You didn't do the top shelf. There's um, a top shelf above those hanging clothes. And, you know, I didn't go through the smaller drawers and so on. And I know there is still so much that can be decluttered in here. It's insane. But this stuff has taken years to accumulate. This wardrobe has been filling up for six years now. It's hard to go through six years worth of stuff and declutter it all in a day or just a few days. So I don't know if that's a good way to explain why I didn't do the whole wardrobe. But someone also commented on my last video that this stuff didn't get here overnight and to take my time decluttering it all. And I loved that comment. So whoever wrote that, thank you so much. Because there were some days during the decluttering challenge that I thought I should have been doing a lot more. But that comment really made me feel happy with what I had decluttered already. And it just reminded me that, you know, this is years and years and years of stuff I'm dealing with. I know I have said it before, but I do have to say it again. Decluttering is a process. It's not something that can be done perfectly the first time that you do it. But for today, it was still a success because we made progress. I was able to declutter quite a lot from the teddy section. These are just teddies that just haven't really had much love or attention since the day that they came into the home same with the dolls and yeah it was just time to bag them up and donate them to somebody or some kid that might appreciate them a lot more than my kids do or are at the moment so I'm going to bag those up and add them to the donation pile with the rest of the clothes and things from this wardrobe that we have already decluttered. curious when did you know you had feelings for me maybe somehow we've always known that we have chemistry but always chasing after someone else so this took me by surprise oh yeah So although the last few days here have been overwhelming at times while decluttering the kids' wardrobe, I was so happy to see this huge pile of clothes and teddies be donated just in time for Christmas. Now, I can't tell you how happy this before and after shot makes me. It may not be all matchy-matchy and organized perfectly. I'm not quite at that stage yet, but for now, it is just so much more clutter-free and mess-free, and that just makes me so happy. On day 19, I moved back into the lounge room and I decided to declutter the gaming drawer in the TV unit. About six months ago now, our Wii Fit and a lot of the games that went with it just stopped working. And I am a I'm pretty good when it comes to technology. I know a few things. I did my research and I tried to troubleshoot it, but I honestly just don't think I'm going to be able to fix this thing. So it has just been sitting here 
for months now, taking up so much needed room. We have other electronics that need a home. My son got a Nintendo Switch for his birthday and this drawer is perfect to store all of that stuff in. So today I'm just going to bag up all of the old console and games and to be completely honest, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with all of this stuff yet. My partner's sort of one of those people who has those projects he says he's going to fix one day. They're all piling up in his garage and <laughs> now the Wii console is one of them because I'm just not sure um, sort of what I would even do with it. I don't know whether to sell it or take it to a store and see if they can fix it. But anyway, it is his problem now. It is out of my house and that's just going to have to do for now. I used to get so frustrated at all the stuff he would hoard and keep, especially when I'd try to throw it out and he'd grab it out the bin and go, oh, we don't need, you know, there's nothing wrong with this. Or, you know, he just always had an excuse why um, he wanted to keep everything but now I just tell him as long as it's in the garage out of my view he can keep whatever he wants because for me it is just a lot easier to protect the piece and avoid an argument but anyways this is how the drawer is looking like now it is so much better and now these two bags are going straight to the garage and there's just that little bit of rubbish on the floor next to them that needs to go in the bin and we're done now we have hit day 20 and today I am decluttering the kids coloring books and drawing books and education books. There is just so much jammed in here. It is really hard to open this drawer at times. So I'm going to go through and declutter all of these. I grabbed this little folder, this little pink folder as well with some scissors because I know there's a lot of coloring books in here that only have like two or three pages left, but 80 to 90% of the pages in the books are colored in. So I just thought instead of wasting any of the good coloring sheets in the books, I would cut them out and add them to this pink folder. And then that way I can recycle the rest of the coloring book. But yeah, today I'm going to go through all of these books here. There's a lot of them. So this one takes a while, but I just really need to get them all decluttered before Christmas. I actually plan on decluttering them before Christmas because I, my kids usually get coloring books for Christmas, but I made it like very clear to myself when I was clearing out this drawer that there is no way they are getting any coloring books for Christmas. They have way too many that they have not even gone through yet. So we're putting a pause on that for this year until they start using the ones that they already have. Even in my wildest
So if you're still here and watching my declutter challenge on day 20, I just want to let you know that I appreciate you so much more than you could realize. My channel is fairly new and small still and the best way for you to help me grow my channel is by watching my videos in full. It also does help when you like, comment and subscribe to my channel but the main thing that helps my channel's chances of success is when my videos are watched all the way through. So if you're still here and watching, you are literally the best, but also I'm assuming that you are enjoying my videos as well, hopefully. So if you haven't already, make sure that you turn your bell notifications on so that you are notified when I upload the final part to my 30 day declutter challenge. I'm hoping to have it up before Christmas, but we will just have to see how organized I am. But until then, make sure you say hi in the comments before you go. If you haven't seen part one already, head on over to my channel and check that out as well. I'll also link it in the description box down below if that's easier for you. But day 20 is complete. I have decluttered this entire drawer now. Here is everything that I'm going to be recycling. Majority of it can be recycled. Some of it will need to go in the rubbish though. This is how the drawer is looking now. It still looks kind of full to me, but on this angle, you can tell that there is so much that has been taken out of it. And it's just going to be a lot easier now for the kids to grab the books that they want to use. But that is it for part two of my 30 day declutter challenge. Until next time, I hope that you have the best week and I will see you back here as soon as possible with part three. Hey, please.